What is going on today? How is everybody doing? Welcome to So You Think You Can Fan It, the only podcast to do a Christmas special on the 12th of February. That's right. Merry Christmas. Today we are reading. What are we reading? Matt today we're reading uh, two special fan fictions. Both of them are of the Sherlock fandom. Uh, I, 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 I. I, I would, I, being that that's the ones we have our store, I would also like to throw my hat in the ring as I have just discovered. <laughs> um, Doom guy fucks a cacodemon by cuck. That's not Sherlock, but how, I, I how suppose that that's allowed. It's, 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 fuck, it's like less than a thousand words. I'll put it in fanfic links. It's All like, right, now it's a triple paragraph. feature. So before we start reading, why don't we introduce our hosts for this week? I'm Jake, and I'm here for once. Who yes. else do we have? We have me. I'm Matt. Who's the and other guy? I am at Roxas the Hunter, Sergio, oh, and I would like to give Roxanne the Huntress. Yes, uh, and I would like to give a big circles. I would like to give a big uh, So You Think You Can Fan to shout out to our South African fan base as we recently had an uptick in South African viewership literally overnight. Literally overnight. If, you, if you're South African, thank you for uh, listening to our podcast while you work in Elon Musk's family's uh, emerald mine. I, I, I really don't appreciate I, it. I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know how South you... Africa. I, I don't know how you found our podcast but i'm glad that you did uh give us a shout out on twitter so we can know who you are and thank you more properly oh yeah anyways which one are we starting with today mr cock uh let's go in let's go in order of length we'll start with our uh, our christmas feature because you uh, you want this to be a christmas special no, i mean i don't want it to be it just is now that's a fucking lie <clears throat> no. So this is this is I saw them under the mistletoe by Richard Period Brooks. Welcome to the love in story. April of, of Shirley 2012. And John. I saw John this is kissing a nine-year-old Fanon. Who's narrating? Who's talking? No, I'm just saying before we start. This is nine years old. Oh shit! You're right. It's from and that's really funny. 2012, the year the world ended. Yeah. All right. And not Never this year. Recovered. The other, the other year the world ended. Twenty twenty one. I saw John kissing Santa Claus. Sherlock woke up in the middle of the night. He was thirsty, and so he decided to get a drink of water and maybe go peek at the prisons presents under the tree. <laughs> Even though it was almost Christmas morning, he couldn't wait to see his presents. There was one shadowy box that looked like an egg. Then Sherlock noticed. That John was out of bed too. He must not have been able to wait for his presence either. Sherlock thought that he would surprise John, maybe even sneak up behind him and look him on his beautiful arm. That always made John bright. Like, do you guys think intellectually bright? Anime brush bright? <laughs> no, I think we're talking about the light bulb in his pants. Oh, fuck, right? <clears throat> Sherlock crept huskily down the stairs and into the living room. There was the tree with its shimmering lights and the presents heaped up slowly and the mistletoe hanging from the ceiling and John kissing someone. Sherlock was so angry he picked up a cup from a table and threw it gleefully on a rock. They both they, look they don't sound very. He doesn't sound very gleeful about being cheated on. <laughs> no, I don't think he is. I don't know what's going on here. This is confusing. <clears throat> they both looked around. Who wants to be Sherlock? Uh, sure. Lock. Go John, ahead. you iridescent fish! Sherlock yelled. How could you cheat on me with, with? Sherlock looked down, and then rubbed his neck, and then looked up again. It was Santa Claus. 
Let me explain, John said. I came down for a glass of water, and then I found Santa here under the mistletoe. Ho, 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 Santa said. <laughs> so of course he had to give me a kiss, and what a dark kiss it was. Well, I suppose, I just want to say, Sergio, what was that, what was that way... Uh, you said John's let me explain. You're like, let me explain from Persona 5 when you when you make coffee, sure. and, and he's like, let he goes, let me explain. <laughs> Sherlock said, mock smirkingly, smirkingly, what? That's not a if word. he was, if he was under the mistletoe, ho ho ho, Santa said. Why don't you give me a kiss, too? Then things will be delicious. That seemed reasonable. Sherlock went over onto the mistletoe and kissed Santa. Santa was the best kisser ever, like a rainbow that casts a happy glow over all the land. He made Sherlock's finger feel all incredible. What does that mean? I don't want to know what that means. I, just, I, I don't either. <laughs> you see? John said sensually, and Sherlock saw. So they had a three-way. And everybody's presents were late. Beautiful. This was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know how to feel about this one. This one was... I think the author was confused as much as we are right now. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Very Merry Christmas. Alright. On to... Moriarty and his maddening... Mind control device. Who wants to narrate this one? Uh, before we, I would like to point out that this is uh, this is Sherlock Hound, a Italian Japanese anime where all the characters are anthropomorphic dogs. Uh, what? Yeah, uh -huh. if you see, if you see, if you see here, Moriarty hates Sherlock Hound, and Sherlock Hound was, as I said, an Ital Italian Japanese anime series. That aired in the 80s. Oh, I didn't realize that before I found this. I never, I've never, I've never heard of this. Oh, at all. oh fuck. <laughs> are we still reading it? <laughs> yeah. I think we, we have to now. I think it's more, I think I'm more excited to read it now than I was before. I think I am too. Wait, hi, yeah. wait hold on. Miyazaki? I'll narrate it. What? Uh, six episodes of this anime were directed by Hayao Miyazaki in 1981. Oh. Yeah, but then they started having problems with Sir Ar Arthur Conan Doyle's estate. If you know anything about Sherlock Holmes, you'll know that Doyle's estate complains about everything. But but because of that, Miyazaki went, went on to go do other things at a little studio you've never heard of. So somebody else took care of it. <laughs> That's, That's so funny. fucking dumb. I like how Sherlock Holmes is like, uh, what's the what's the word? No longer struck in under copyright. What's the word? Public what domain. What I'm thinking of? Public domain. Public domain. I like how Sherlock Holmes is public domain, and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, his estate's still like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Is there a reason they can do that? It's because copyright laws are really, really goofy to work around. Anyhow, who wants to read Moriarty and his maddening mind control I'd device? I'd love to. Go ahead and introduce I'd the I'd love to. Moriarty hates Sherlock Hound and wants to wreck his life, but does he? Also, this is Sherlock Hound because LOL, no Sherlock category. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for not reading the author's note and finding out <laughs> something even better than we previously thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, 
221 B Baker Street, the home to Sherlock Hound, the greatest consultant detective of all time, and his assistant and best friend, Dr. John Watson. Why is Sherlock's name dog themed, but Watson is just, just fucking Bilbo Baggins? Yeah, as I'm seeing on the on the Wikipedia page, everyone else's name is the like the the same except Sherlock Hound. <laughs> and they're all That's animals. so lazy. That's so lazy. Come on now. If you want to make a bad dog fiction or a dog version of fucking Sherlock Holmes, at least go the fucking distance, you know what I'm saying? Mhm. Anyways, they were both a perfect match for each other. However, the one thing, or one person, rather, that they fight over lives, lives, okay, in the very house that they do. That person is Mrs. Hudson, the love of their lives. There's also another person who loves Mrs. Hudson. However, he lives in a place where no man can reach him, and his two sex slaves, guys who escape me, <laughs> Guy A and Guy B sound good. Maybe Barry and Paul. Actually, yeah, their names are Barry Chuckle and Paul Chuckle. Sarah and Robin. I'll be Moriarty. <clears throat> oh, the blessed Sherlock! Make a fool out of me, will he? Yeah. Steal Mr. Hudson, Mrs. Hudson away from me. Well, this will show him in his faithful sidekick, Dr. Watson. What happens when you mess with Professor Moriarty? Can you let us go now? Oh, we, no. We, we have, have a, a gig in Billing Forum. <laughs> Pleaded the Chuckle Brothers simultaneously. I fucking can't believe you managed to do that. <laughs> no, what can I, I need say? you to do for my experiment. <laughs> the Chuckle Brothers lifted something which looks similar to a pendant and some string. To me, exclaimed the eldest Chuckle. To you, enthusiastically replied the youngest Chuckle. Which one? <laughs> I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Paul, sure. Right. Whoa, nearly dropped it there. <laughs> Careful with that, it's finally federal equipment! What? It's highly fragile equipment, Jacob. Okay, sorry, I lagged out for a second. They Sorry, both. I saw in I, I saw in Bad Boys that uh that someone implied they bought Vegas Pro on Steam. I know you can do that, but but why? Uh, but why? Uh, they both placed the item on the table. Moriarty flicked a switch and pressed a few buttons, and the pendant began to swing. It would swing to the left and swing to the right, and so on. Barry, I want you to pretend you're a normal, functioning human being. I thought they were dogs. They I are. Maybe, 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 maybe the maybe the chuckles are uh, just guys. guys. Also, they also they the they're hound is a dog. Hmm. What were you saying, Serge? Also, I'd 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 I'd, li I'd like to po po point out that the got the uh the guys he's talking about are actually named Smiley and George slash Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotically suggested Moriarty. I will obey, Master. Paul, I want you to pretend that Barry is the love of your life and have intercourse <laughs> with him. I will obey you, my lord and master. Paul lunged for Barry like a wild boar in heat. I'm definitely not going to get into the details here because Jesus Christ, what have I typed? Excellent! Excellent! Now I will use this to control the minds of Sherlock and Dr. Watson. <laughs> I like how in the books, Moriarty is, like, not a very emotional person. And yeah. then in this, he's like, mm, Fuck for me! <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
Mm. I'll show you the dog pound. Mm, Mary, fuck that man <laughs> in the butt. It was the 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 country. F- <laughs> the fuck is that word? <laughs> Fat? Fitiri? Fair? F-E-T-E. Is that fair? Oh uh, no no no! It's a uh. Th- this is an actual fate. word. It's a fate. Yeah, fate. He a forgot the fucking festival. umlaut or whatever the fuck that thing is called. Bruh. What's the weird thing? I don't know what it's called, but I know what you're talking about being that I'm looking at the word. I'm just gonna Google it. Uh, uh yeah, I don't fuck. Yeah, it's pronounced fate or fat. I it was the country fat, because fat is funnier today. Sherlock Watson and Mrs. Hudson were out on a leisurely cruise around it. Apple bobbing and other stuff in a Victorian era country fat were there too. Well, I say, I, I am rather enjoying this. Are you Mrs. Hudson? Query. Oh, Queried. Jacob. Queried. Queried Watson, obviously trying to flirt <laughs> with her. Sherlock gave Watson a stare that even death would back away from. Watson didn't see it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, no, too. man, you get to be Mr. Holmes. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Damn. Replied Mrs. Hudson. I say, Mrs. Hudson, you look rather radiant today. <laughs> Flirted Mr. Holmes. Mrs. Hudson is dense as fuck. Why, thank you, Sherlock. This is my normal gum. The threesome, oops, I might have given away a part of the plot there, walked down the stalls and they were the stall with a rather unusual contraption. Uh, hello there, sir. More, I see you have a good eye. This is my mind zapper, a rather nifty device that allows one to control the mind of any person they desire. It can reveal your darkest secrets or make your wildest dreams come true. The man looked like Moriarty, but with with but without a monocle or mon eichel, mon monocle. I think that's uh, Sherlock talking in the next dialogue. Mm. So you use the pendant to hypnotize someone and control their minds. Interesting. I'd like to prove your theory wrong. I shall have a go on this machine. <laughs> You're falling right into my. Pause, Mr. Holmes. I thought his name was Mr. Hound. <laughs> thought Moriarty. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is also. I think it's also more not Moriarty. What? Who is talking Glorious. here? <laughs> I think Moriarty. It's Moriarty. I think. Uh, okay. Glorious, you are indeed the great Sherlock Hound. He he just said Holmes. Which is it? <laughs> he just thought Holmes. <laughs> I say one word and you hear ten. I'm going to flip the switch now. Moriarty flipped the switch. Sherlock gazed at the pendant. He, his eyes became heavy and his body became weak. Sherlock Hound, your partner, Dr. John Watson, is in fact Mrs. Hudson, and she wants you to have sex with her. Doggy style. Are you obey, Matt <laughs> Moriarty, droned Sherlock. Sherlock whisked away from the stall and grabbed Mr. Watson by the hand. I st- <laughs> Oh. Sergio. I say, Sherlock, whatever is the matter? Sherlock didn't reply. They ran to the nearest barn. Barry and Paul were in there. Sherlock shooed them away and they scurried along like rats. Sherlock laid Mr. Watson in the stacks of hay inside and ripped (laughs) off his clothes. The horses, knowing what is about to transpire, turned away and put some headphones in. Forward slash. Wait, Sherlock. I'm not ready for this. I need to emotionally prepare myself. Shouted Watson. Sherlock wasn't having any of it and flipped over Watson like he was some sort of dog. (laughs) <laughs> Sherlock j- 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 jammed it in as hard as he could his raging member <laughs> was angry good. and wanted justice <laughs> Sherlock thrust inwards and outwards Watson gasped and moaned with each thrust Th- then suddenly juices went flying around oh god some got on the horse the horse wasn't too pleased 
Mrs. Hudson was watching. It turns out she was a secret Fujoshi and was breathing heavily at what happened. The pervert. Moriarty ran off with Barry and Paul in a cage into the sunset. This was a successful day. So it was oh, wow. definitely something. I, 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 see on his, I see on this guy's page, his name is Key Shipper Person. He has a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh fanfics that are like 200 words each. Or oh, dear. Words. You know, it if we like were it, still giving uh, point scores on our fuck, on fanfics we read, we'd probably give this one like a three. I give it a point five. It wasn't even... It wasn't even ironically good. It was just. It was just dumb. Bad. It was just yes, dumb. Was dumb. <laughs> uh, zero point five out of ten. Couldn't keep the homes or hound straight. Very also, sad. I, I began to wonder if like people who write fan fictions like this, like 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 like, say, say they were with the boys and they had just like had sex, right? And they were like bragging about it, and they're like. So yeah, you know, I took this babe home and I picked her up and I slammed her on the ground like Hulk Hogan, and then I I tore open her uh, her pants like you don't, like you tear open a video game. On she was already Day. paralyzed from the waist down at this point because she got slammed in directly into a rusty nail into her spinal cord. Oh yeah, we were having some real real rough sex. I threw my I threw my uh. Uh, my 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 girlfriend into a to a landmass, <laughs> <laughs> and then and I got her got her in the cuts real good. <laughs> All right, I think uh we should go ahead and let a message for advertisement purposes play, and we will. You know, be I right think back. I think I agree. I also agree. All right. Wow, that sure was a good advertisement, wasn't it, Mr. Rock D and Roxas the Hunter? Boy, howdy, it sure was. Oh, yes. I, I, I went from a landmass and back at light speed while, uh, while that was happening. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Now, why don't we get into our final story of the night? I think it only makes sense for Sergio to narrate this one. Yes, so we have... Doom guy fucks a caca demon by cut. <clears throat> What's the summary? Uh, well, being that there I don't, is no it, summary. Uh, yeah, it's on mobile. If, if I hit right, uh, it's just it's in the title. <laughs> yeah, I removed the M. Yeah, it's just in the title. <clears throat> One day, Doom guy was on. UAC Mars base his balls hurt so he say I need suck and went to go rent a robot hooker machine from the cafeteria vending machine but he was quick to realize the power was out and the people who were eating there eating were now zombie and eating each other my money that I used to buy sex hooker has no value in zombie society. Said Duke Nukem with accent of anger and determination as he threw the coins at a zombie colleague. This made the zombie angry and it charged the doom guy. So he grabbed his shotgun and shot it with his shotgun kablam. I cannot get suck from zombie. Because that bite my penis. Said Doom Guy with defeated tone in his voice. He shooted the other zombie in the mess hall and set up to find the suck. <laughs> Doom Guy, when he exited the zombie room, say, Damn it to hell, there's more zombie. And then the Marine base was damned to hell. Doom guy saw a lot of demon, and he knew he did not have enough bullets for all of them. I must act fast or die without getting my nut. He's he. <laughs> What's wrong, Sergio? I just want nut. He's he said with bigger nuke nuke him. Ran in a beeline while dodging Samba Demon rockets and fireballs and the very scary skulls on the fires. He did not uh, know what... Uh, readers note, that's called a lost soul. Also, he did Sergio, not know what to do at first. Or what? Sergio, you're starting to break audio. You may want to 
quiet yeah, down by a couple rain decibels it back there. a little sport <clears throat> but he felt he was getting closer to his goal suddenly a cacodemon appeared at the distance I'm gonna fuck that said Big Hoss in a monotone and matter-of-fact voice as he ran faster towards it. It tried to spit lightning at him, but he jumped over it and on top of it and rode it like a flying horse and got it out of hell (laughs) back to the Marine base. It was screaming and begging for mercy from Doom Guy, but he had gone so far he was gonna get sucked. He knocked it upside the head with his shotgun and dragged it to the medical bay and got a scalpel and removed its teeth and the gland that produced plasma. I'm sorry, little one, but I cannot masturbate anymore because of my calloused hands that I use to kill demons with. He said with genuine pity and remorse. After a few hours, the cacodemon woke up and did not know what was going on, but was scared. Doom Guy was not in the room because he had to take a poop. Cacodemon <laughs> tried to escape, but Doom Guy came back. Do not be scared, friend. I will only get suck from you if consensual. Said Major Bubba with honesty. He gave Cacodemon a menu and asked it out to a date on the cafeteria. Cacodemon didn't really know what to say because it was a cacodemon, but it did not want to fight anymore, so it just rocked back and forth trying to do a nod, but it was a little hard because the entirety of its body was just a head. They went to a restaurant and they ordered spaghetti from the zombie waiter. They ate the spaghetti. It was good spaghetti because the Marine base had transferred a five-star chef to their outpost. The chef was a zombie now, but she was still a good chef. Over the course of the meal, the cacodemon had begun swooning over Doom Guy. Nobody had ever loved it enough to give it Italian food because it was a demon and lived in hell. <laughs> it began to cry and Doom Guy wiped its tears off and said, hey. Baby, it's okay. And then hugged it. Doom Guy put his head in his pocket. Pulled out a small box. He got on his knees and say, Cack demon, will you marry me? With happiness, Cack demon made a weird noise and smiled, so he took it as a guess. They went back to the part of the base that Doom Guy lived in and tried to go to sleep together, but Cack demon kept floating out of bed and hitting the roof like a balloon, so they slept separate for the time being because they were very tired and had to get married tomorrow. He had discussed with the zombie waiter, and it turns out he was an ordained minister, so they could get married legally. And it was a very important because it's a big day, even if you're only the one of the four sapient beings on a Mars base. Sapient on, beings. They woke up in the morning and were happy. Zombie chef lady had given Cacodemon a pink wedding dress to wear. Cacodemon did not know how to wear it because it was designed for a person, but still wore it anyways as a hat. Doom Guy wore his green armor and helmet to the ceremony to capture the magic of when they first met. He walked down the aisle, down the aisle with Cacodemon, who was floating. Doom Guy say his vowels. <laughs> Caco, when we first met, I just wanted to get suck, but I've seen that you are wonderful. Wait a minute. Sergio? Yes? What's that, uh, what's that five-letter word? Starting with the W Woman. letter. What uh? What Woman. week are we in? Oh no! Although believe... we can change that. Wonderful man. man. <laughs> you are a wonderful man who is misunderstood because you D man. Caca demon cry again, and then the zombie guy did some grunts that vaguely sounded like. Doom guy, do you take this cacodemon to be your longfully your lawfully wedded man ass? <laughs> and Captain and? Cox said Yes. And Cacodemon said Zombie <laughs> 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 Minister Grunt. You may now kiss the bride, husband. <laughs> Man, bride, <laughs> gr- groom, <laughs> sweet baby, <laughs> and then Doom Guy and Cacodemon kissed really, really intensely, like something out of a Mexican soap opera, not a wedding. So, how does sex work? 
said Doom Guy as they get back to their room. Cacodemon open his mouth and wait for Doom Guy to put in penis. <laughs> okay, but if we marry, then suck is not necessary. But Cacodemon gestured to mouth again. Doom Guy shrug and put his masculine penis in Cacodemon mouth and see what happened. It turns out Cacodemons have mouth that serve as reproductive organs and everything else. Cacodemons Bussy throats <laughs> began to attack around Doom Guy's penis and accompany it. Doom Guy was having the best nut of his life, and Calcademon was moaning and roaring loudly. Calcademon, <laughs> I'm about to ejaculate my seeds into your pottery. Said Doom Guy, his voice was straight in from the sex. He couldn't pull out because his penis was tied to Cacodemon, but he did not want him to anyway. You voiced, you voiced Cacodemon before. Yeah, you I, it again. Yes, okay. <laughs> I love you, he said in a demonic voice as his jugular was being flogged by penis. I love you, too. <laughs> Okay, said Doom, Doom Guy as he shot his love juice into him. Cacodemon is best, best to be afraid around me lest they end up on my pottery wheel. <laughs> Doom Guy <laughs> both fell backward and gasped for air because they have very passionate sexual intercourse and need to rest. What happens now? Asked Doom Guy. Cacodemon could only talk during sex because that's the thing they do. But she coughed up an egg and went to sleep. I mean, he coughed up an egg and went to sleep. Doom Guy did not know what he had just created, but could not abandon his child. So he put the egg in an incubator and went to sleep as well. When morning arrived, he woke up and found Cacodemon looking at the egg. When does baby born? Asked Doom Guy. Cacodemon looked at him and blinked four times. He took at this as four months. So during those four months, they worked with friendly zombies and tired up the war torn Mars base, restored power, and demon proofed it and started trying to get a tiny escape pod running so they could send baby back to Earth because there was no future for baby here. Soon as baby was hatched, the baby was a boy and looked entirely human but with some weird blotches on its skin that kind of glowed sometimes. Doom Guy say, Oh, hold on. Hold on, I lost my spot. <laughs> We're at the end. We're at the end. We're at, at the, the end. end. I will name yeah. him John. So he named him John. Oh, hold on, my monitor turned off. John put him in tiny marine armor and sent him to Earth. One day, plan to build in another spaceship and go meet him. The Doom Guy and Cacodemon has sex again, but with protection. The end. What the fuck? Say? Where did you fucking find that? R slash bad fanfiction. This is painful. <laughs> that this guy is definitely like, wrote it. Th that guy definitely wrote it so it would so he could put it on R slash bad fanfiction. <laughs> I just want to point out that he uploaded it uh, five years ago and then updated it in October of 2020. <laughs> That's thank you, cuck. Yes, thank you, cuck. This was fun. Uh, do we want to rate this? Is this rateable? <laughs> uh, two. I don't know. One. It's it's hard to rate stuff like this because like I want it like I want it. It's like eleven out of eleven masterpiece. But I said no. This is garbage writing. Hmm. Either way, I had fun with these three. Uh, I don't think I'm inclined to go on a, one of our usual long tangents about not mm, nonsense following one of these. What do you guys think? I uh, I yeah. think it's very funny that for Slash Week we specifically went out of our way to only find garbage. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as good slash fiction around here. Well, I well, I guess I guess the FF seven one was at least well written, and we just made it funny through reading it. Yeah, I just think the ship of Sephiroth and Cloud is funny as a whole. Oh yeah, it is just funny. Anyhow, I think that's about it. Yes, and tune in uh, on Sunday for the finale. 
of uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, slash week where you, the viewers, get to enjoy a fan fiction of our own creation. Matt, would you like to give them a little taste, a little like little little tiny synopsis of what they have to look forward to? I don't think to? we should. Honestly, just a, just a I think we should, synopsis. I think we should keep it. I think we should wait until tomorrow or whenever it is. Uh, keep it a surprise. Well, here I'll I'll tell the I'll tell the readers this. It is titled "Deep in the Valley," and on the dock sheet we have an order of penetration. <laughs> All right, fellas, ladies, and fellas. We'll see you next, next week. Time. I moved my glasses down my nose so it would look more dramatic, but then oh, I you, mean tomorrow. you can't see it. Goodbye. Okay.